Hey, you know, sometimes jobs are going to happen once and they're going to happen fast and you're just going to have to put up with whatever's thrown at you. Keep watching. You know, as a press or PR photographer, you're not always going to have the um, luxury of being able to shoot things again. Uh, commercial photographers can often do things over and over again. They can make things better and better and better, tweak them, tweak the lighting, um, redo it. But as a PR or a press photographer, you know, you're recording something that happens just once and you've got to get it right. I was recently doing a good job for Bowie and they were sending a plane from, um, from Seattle uh, and it was going to be turned into a wedge tail. The plane was being sent over uh, as it was. It, you know, it wasn't painted, it didn't have any, any, anything inside it. It was just kind of the shell of a plane really. And they just wanted to record it coming into the country. Uh, so that was great. It was only going to fly in once. It was going to taxi past me and that was it. That was all I was going to get. And uh, Stuart was there doing some stills too. And the day came, pea super fog, couldn't believe it. Got to the airport, couldn't even see um, planes taking off. Could hear them, but couldn't see them um, from where we were. Um, so we thought we weren't going to get anything. And uh, luckily, with about half an hour to go till the plane landed, uh, the sun broke through and managed to burn um, most of the fog away. We got some shots of the plane coming in. Couldn't do the uh, really long lens stuff because the fog was just uh, just softening the picture. But as it landed and got closer to the camera, it was nice and sharp. We got everything we needed. It turned around and taxied. And even um, as it went past us, uh, as well as away from the pilots, we got a beautiful winter sunset that, uh, that uh, the plane taxied into. But the point is, you've got to go with it. Whatever the weather or people or time constraints throw at you, that, as a press and PR photographer, that's what you've got to put up with. Uh, here's the film if you'd like to have a look.